guys, V Bad here with another V Plays, and we're into the next aircraft in our showcase of tier five heavies, and we're taking out the Bow Fighter. Now, the Bow Fighter, I think one of the reasons a lot of people were gravitating towards it, that is a loud phone, is that the Bow Fighter, if you ever played War Thunder, because that actually uh, was doing a lot better than the original release of World of Warplanes, uh, the Bow Fighter was like the aircraft everybody really wanted to have. It had a lot of firepower, and it's a fairly cool looking plane. I mean, it's very utilitarian, and the Australian Air Force made very good use of it, or everything, including a torpedo aircraft. So. In this game, however, the bow fighter, while it is a heavy, tends to play a lot more like a multi-role in my opinion, mostly because it's just got this massive payload of eight rockets and two bombs. Uh, but also, a lot of people like it because it actually has four machine guns on the left wing, two on the right, and then four 20 millimeter cannons under the belly. And the turret can actually swing all the way around to the front of the plane. Now, I tried to make just the 20s make contact initially because they're where a lion's share of the damage is going to be coming from. But the bow fighter is not known for being nimble. And while it is a heavy and does have some speed capabilities, it's not really known for being a speed demon. There we go. Now let's direct our ire on a ground target here. We'll go for the big structure. Two potatoes there. Hopefully that's enough. Here we go, we spread it out real good there. And the reload is not necessarily short, but I think we'll be all right. Let's make our way over to the enemy mine and see if we might be able to pull something off over here. I do see that there's a tornado up high. We'll be lucky if we can maintain the advantage here. So we gotta kill him on this run or he's just gonna get behind us, which didn't even happen. I am contemplating whether or not I even want to do the Bowfighter 5, which is the premium version of this aircraft. It only has two 20s on it, uh, but the turret actually starts in the forward position, and I don't think it even has any machine guns or anything. So it feels like it's lackluster, but it actually turns out that the cannons are better, and the fact that the turret already starts in the forward position means that you're getting those four machine guns on target that much quicker. Uh, no, nah, we're not going to be able to pick that up. I may go for it once we get bombs and rockets, but I think going to the mid is going to be our best bet for the time being in trying to work our way over towards the enemy's military facility. Who do we have for threats? We're going to have a bunch of stuff coming in from the south, too, so we got to understand that as well. Uh, that's a key 102. That's a very dangerous enemy. We want our teammates to put some effort into him. Using the 20s to get the lion's share of the damage. Rockets are making good efforts over here as well. Human controlled hurricane. Those four 20s can be a real pain in the butt for us. We got some fire out. Oh, nice. The tail gunner actually turned all the way around and became a forward firing weapon. Let's head towards the enemy military facility. See if we might be able to help out our bomber and ground attacker. And it looks like our mill facility is attacking their mine. So I'm actually going to do that. See if I can attract some folks over there to defend. I may just put that guy right into the maw of the enemy. Of the enemy key 102. Ooh, my mistake. Really? What are you doing here? Ah. I don't know. We'll we'll throw some shots at him. Oh, no, we can't. We can't afford to. The key 102 is actually over here. Oh, we got him. I I actually hit the wrong button initially. Oh, it would have been nice if we got a 2 for there. Oh, I can't believe we got a rocketeer. That's awesome. So that heavy over there in the north, that's actually not the key 102. We stand a bit of a chance. So we're saying there's a chance. Our 
aircraft over here, the ground attacker, is actually going to cost us the capture of that facility. Whew. All right. Maybe we'll get that bomber after all. Ah! The enemy picked up the mine. Mines are where you win and lose games. Not that we have much of an effect on a mine, but man, it's a big deal. Like I said, we got aircraft are trickling in here and they're getting eaten and they're just losing the zone for us. We need to go capture that mill facility. I got two bombs. I got something to offer. Yeah, we're struggling. And that bomber's about to get taken out. So close to. Yeah, bomber just died. To a bow fighter of all things. See what we can do over here. Get those guns on. Nice kill. The heavy's right behind us. Actually gonna slow down. Pump the boost. Forward hemisphere engagement. Got him. Okay. Whew. So we're dead. Zone's locked. We have a mine and we have two military facilities. That's a good position to be in right now. Although they're about to get a tick over on the mine. Ugh. We'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. That's all we can do. We're probably going to be picking up that garrison right quick. It is going to be squall line by the time I see that key 102 again. So I'm going to have to be very wary of that. I doubt we'll see our bombs again though. 120 seconds. Yeah, we'll be lucky. Oof. No. Okay. I can't do that engagement solo. And that's something that kind of stinks that you that you know you can't do it alone. Yeah, he's on my six. Okay, he's distracted. We did pick up the mid. Rockets are back. Oh, that was a ram kill, not a rocket kill. But he's gone. <laughs> Took a beating for it. Alright, let's see if we can do a bit of a boom and zoom run on this guy. Might not even need to. It seems like the tail gunner's doing work. There we go. Nice little rake across the bow. Air supremacy. Air supremacy. Yes. Oh, man. That came in clutch. Easily really did a lot of great work in this match. Um, I'd like to think that we were putting ourselves in tactical positions, but... Whew. What a rough fight. We got a rocketeer, too. That's insane. Whew. Not too shabby. So the bow fighter, barely pulling it together, uh, not really flying it much like a heavy. I was trying to use the altitude to my advantage. We avoided getting into turn fights. We avoided getting into situations where we were going to have to fight people one-on-one -on -one or we might be overwhelmed. And the times that we did get into a two versus one is when we got wiped out very easily by the enemy hurricane, I believe it was, that killed us. We got killed by the hurricane and the key 102. Uh, but we still managed to break 10k, which is usually my personal goal to consider it a decent battle. And we got a Rocketeer, which is always a win in my book. 460 capture points, all while attacking, and we contributed to capturing three sectors. 
and those three sectors were the two different military bases which allowed us to be able to flip the mines so get in the offensive sites if you can catch those that's really going to help you out and as for ground target damage we did effectively take out those two special ground targets when we were able to engage with the bombs and important note we actually took out one of those with just the two bombs so something for me to bear in mind that my economy of force on the first military facility actually wasn't all that great uh so yeah the bow fighter it, like let's we'll do a quick comparison to let's pull up the bf-110e real quick because this is kind of a middle of the road a heavy right here and when you're looking at like maneuverability it's not too bad on the bow fighter but it's definitely not going to outturn one of the key 45s and then airspeed the airspeed just isn't that great i mean you're seeing that we're like nearly 30 miles an hour slower on cruise and then almost 50 miles an hour slower with the boost speed we even have a little bit less boost we don't even have as fast of a dive speed and some of that's attributed to the air to ground ordinance but I almost feel like it's a waste not to put those on because once you get specialization on this aircraft, there it is, you actually get two spots here. You get a consumable and you get an equipment slot. So I just thought that it made more sense to to keep the munitions on. Uh, you know, I up to arguments, you know, but the bow fighter doesn't have much going for it besides it, obviously a massive amount of firepower. 470 damage per second even beats out the BF-110. It beats out... The P-38, the M2, ME-210, the Ki-45, it just has some great damage numbers. So the Bowfighter does excel in that area, much like a multi-roll does as well. Uh, and then the altitude performance is lackluster again. It's going to be just low. It's a thousand feet lower on both fronts for compared to the BF-110. So Bowfighter, I think it's a cool looking plane. I think a lot of people appreciate it for what it's capable of and the history of the aircraft but it feels more like a multi-role to me and I, I honestly feel like all of the british heavy aircraft fly more like a a beefier multi-role all the way up through and including tier 8 it's once you get to the p228 and the javelin that the thing starts to perform more like a true heavy uh, and starts to get more into like the way you would fly a 262 especially since they're mounting 30 millimeter cannons but uh that's besides the point uh and again i'm still not sure if i even really want to do a separate video for the bowfighter 5 we've did that when the aircraft first came out uh, a lot of its a lot of the damage potential is going to come from the fact that the forward facing turrets are able to engage immediately on getting onto the target they have a little bit more of a firing arc and they pump out slightly more damage the 20 millimeter cannons are only doing eh, 200 damage per second with the two 20s that are on here, but they seem to perform a lot better than your typical Bowfighter 20s. And you're also running this thing clean, so you tend to get a little bit more out of it with the airspeed, and you're getting numbers that are more comparable to what you saw with the BF 110. So you're getting more into true heavy performance, although you're still not getting a lot from the altitude. And the maneuverability is still there at 14.2 seconds. 13.2 uh, for my P-38. And the key 45's maneuverability is going to be at 12.3. So, yep, there's your, your basic comparison. And unless you guys just have a huge public outcry that you want to see the Bowfighter 5 tomorrow, I'm just going to go with the SE-100 and we'll conclude our Tier 5 Heavy videos and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this series and it's something that you like just kind of an idea that popped into my head the other day and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one